No, no, I've never thought that. Do you? Yeah, I think I can. Wow, there's a girl that can see organs. She can see organs. Yeah, like she could look at you and see your liver. How? I don't know. It's impossible. It's also impossible to smell with your fingers. No, it's not. Because if you think about it, your nose is just touching the particles. That's how it smells. I think I can just touch the particles with my fingertips and then I can know. You really think so? Yeah, I'm touching my foot and I can smell it with my fingers. No, your foot's just really smelly. It's not, though. I can't smell it when I don't touch it. You seriously don't have that? No, I don't. It's one of those weird things everybody does but nobody says. That's a good way to put it. If you look at something and you say the first thing that comes to your mind and then you switch your brain thought process, would me with your brain thought process still say the same thing as you did? I don't think it would. I don't think it would either. Yeah, you would think the same thing, but you'd be really confused. I'd be like, why am I <laughs> grapes when I look at the <laughs> You'd think the same thing you would as just you, but you would be a little confused how you came to it. You'd be like, oh, I'd grapes make so. sense, but what the heck? Yeah. Do you know if you squeeze them, it'll release a deadly amount of adrenaline into your body? What? That doesn't surprise me. You can kill yourself by squeezing your testicles. Is that why getting hit in them hurts so much? Because it's just like, surprise getting injected by <laughs> adrenaline? <laughs> I, I, yeah. Who figured that out? Like, All squeezy, bad. squeezy. Oh, adrenaline, holy crap. Oh, I'm almost gonna die. Oh my gosh, I almost died. <laughs> Still dripping on me. I'm getting on fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I almost killed myself. <laughs> See this lava dripping? That is f just fire. That's fuel on fire. Fire doesn't drip. It's not dripping. Oh, it is dripping. It's dripping, Dan. I'm looking at it dripping. <laughs> <laughs> it's dripping. It's lava. If fire's dripping, it's lava. Really? Well, he was in a, a window. If it's a gas, it will go up. If it's a lava, it will go down. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, lava's gravity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You might need to put in a canteen. I, just put in an empty canteen and then put water? Oh, I don't know. Always add acid. What? Don't you remember no. that in science class? No. Always add acid because no. if you pour acid into water... Here's why I don't like that. If it drips, it's going to drip. The acid? Okay. You, you're supposed to always add acid because if you add water to acid and it splashes, mm -hmm. you get acid everywhere. If it splashes, they're mixed up. Don't get acid no matter what you do. Yeah, it's gonna splash. You just gonna splash. Well, maybe like a physics thing is when you pour a liquid into another liquid. Like if you poop, then it splashes. It's water that splashes, not your poop. But your poop is a solid thing. <laughs> yeah, but because of physics, maybe it goes in. Like gravity keeps it down, and then the other one comes up, no matter what. Do you know what the difference between physics and chemistry is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> gravity is physics. Chemistry is If you're mixing acid. waters and waters together and it's acid, then it's chemistry, not physics. But there is physics because you have to pour it in because of gravity. If there's a scientist listening to us, he'd be so pissed <laughs> off. 